Madison and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I have an unboxing video for you all. I just picked out the new Cavalry fleece line dressage boots and they just arrived so I thought I would share them with you all. Now before we get into today's video if y'all are interested in checking out Cavalry I will have all of the links to their websites and the product I got listed in the description box below. Cavalry is an equine company that makes well-engineered saddle pads, half pads, gel pads, um, as well as all sorts of different types of boots, polo wraps, bit guards, other fun accessories. Um, their products are so well made, have your horse made in mind. I actually have quite a few of their other products, so I was so thrilled when they asked me to try out their dressage boots. So without further ado, let's just get started. <gasps> no way! I actually did not know that these came with a bag, which is super cool. I got the fleece lined dressage boots, and if y'all have ever worked with fleece lined boots before, they are just as hard to keep clean when they're off your horse as when they are on. Um, yes, when they're on your horse, you know, your horse is running through dirt, you know, whatever it might be, but honestly just having them in the barn, whether it's a tack trunk or a box, they just tend to collect dust and get debris and maybe get wet from spills in your tack box, things of that sort. Fleece can be so hard to keep clean. So I'm hoping I can do a good job and I'm glad the bag will help. These boots came in a clear plastic bag that has a zipper around the top as well as this nice woven handle. These boots come in sizes small to extra large and in the white and black color for the leather material on the outside and then they all come with this nice white and cream fleece. I ride ponies primarily um, and the ponies that I've been riding lately mostly being Xena and some other lesson ponies. Um, Penelope is back home with my mom crushing it but the ponies I've been riding lately are typically lighter boned around 14.2 and given that they suggested that for the front I get a size medium on their website and when you place your order um, your order will come with this little card indicating what size you bought the different colors available and it also has a little chart right here indicating um, depending on what size your horse is how tall they are front or back legs and then if they're light boned or heavy boned what size boots it thinks you should get that being said, here are the boots. They are absolutely gorgeous. Um, Cavalry's colors and logo colors are like red, gold, and black, which I think is just so classy, looks nice on so many different horses. So I love how the rubber logo on the boot is classy and nice, um, while still being like mature and professional. These boots have gold stitching around the strike pad here, and the strike pad is quite large, which I'm very excited about. I prefer when the strike pad tends to wrap and contour to the horse's fetlock on the inside. Some strike pads I feel like are wide all the way up and offer less mobility and flexibility, um, while others maybe don't have this larger portion at the bottom here for the fetlock, which is an area that really needs to be protected. The size medium is indicated on this little tag right here, and this size comes with two Velcro straps, as y'all can see. The Velcro straps on these boots are about two inches wide, so very, very thick and nice, high quality, along with elastic um, piece connected to the leather Velcro portion. Having elastic on boots like this is really nice because it prevents you from over tightening. Granted, a fleece line boot is inevitably harder to over tighten than some other styles of boots just because the fleece does offer a lot more give um, and is a lot less restricting than some other materials against your horse's leg. 
However, I do think Velcro is essential, especially if you're gonna be using these on different horses. Um, maybe somebody who's less experienced with applying boots is gonna be using them, just so you can be sure that they won't be over tightening their boots and won't be hurting your horse. On the inside of these boots, they are fully fleece lined. I love, love, love fleece lined boots. Like I mentioned earlier, they are a little bit more challenging to keep clean, but they are such nice quality. They're so comfortable against your horse's skin. Um, and honestly, I think they just look so nice and professional. I particularly love the cream with the black. Oh my goodness. It'll just look so nice with this little touch of gold detailing and trim around the different uh, sewn portions. I personally find that dressage boots can be so hard to get right. I feel that they're either really stiff and don't contour well to your horse's legs or they're super flexible to the point where I feel like they aren't doing a whole lot of good. However, these boots are amazing. Y'all can see they're super pliable while still being thick and this hard strike pad here that offers little to no flexibility will be really nice and supportive on the inside of your horse's leg while offering extra protection. And because of the rigidity and design of these boots, um, they are so flexible while still being sturdy, especially on the inside. This will prevent your horse's boots from rotating during wear. I've definitely found that with certain types of boots, depending on how they're applied and what they're used for, they might actually twist and move while you're riding. However, because of this strike pad that bends and flexes around the horse's fetlock, as well as this inner hard strike pad that will go in between your horse's legs, this will really prevent any extra motion and rotation of the boots around your horse's leg. These boots are so versatile for all sorts of indoor flat work type activities. You could totally jump in these as well if you aren't looking for an open front type boot. I would caution y'all against using these on trail rides, cross country, that sort of thing. The fleece on fleece line boots does have a tendency to pick up burrs, twigs, pebbles, rocks, that sort of thing, which can in turn end up scraping your horse's legs. And fleece is extremely water absorbent. So be careful to not use these in the water because it will soak up a lot of water, which makes it really hard to clean and really makes it heavy on your horse's legs. And to top it all off, these boots can actually be machine washed on cool. Just simply throw them in the wash, wash them alone on cool, um, then air dry them afterwards and your boots will come out looking nice and clean. But that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed and I really appreciate you watching. If you are interested in checking out Cavalry, I will have the links to their Instagram website as well as these boots linked in the description box below. Um, thank you so much to Cavalry for partnering with me on today's video. I am so excited to use these boots and cannot tell you how much I have loved all of your other products I've used in the past. But with that being said, I hope you all have a great day and I will see you all next time. Peace out. Bye.